July. I don't I don't want to be famous and I don't I didn't think about that. Sad. I just uh, like a normal woman. Uh, <laughs> when I was young, I, I, I when I was young. I think I was famous in my uh, in high school, um, in my school. Ah. But I don't want to. But I didn't want <laughs> to be face Wow! Famous. So tell me why. So yeah, you were uh, yeah, you were famous. So wh why you were famous at school? Of course, you know I can guess. Uh, you I, were yeah. You can guess. Yeah, of course, can you were beautiful. You were beautiful. <laughs> yeah, you were you were beautiful girl at school. So of course you everyone wanted to be with you. So I think so. Of course I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Yeah. Uh, my beauty is, is medium, medium, not no. very. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> I not think beautiful. Not too. Not uh, not very glamorous. Not very beautiful. Yeah. But I, I, I think I. Please wait. Hello. Hello. My brother is calling. Ah, okay, Chris. Well, hmm. so. So, uh, I was not very uh, beautiful, but I can sing well. But I could sing well. Ah, uh, really? in, yes, I in uh, a bank, a music bank of the school. I often uh, sing uh, when. Uh, the school have uh, had events. Oh, yeah. And I, I am I was a singer in a choir in a church. Like, ah, wow. Many, many people, many students knows for me that. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Why? Why? Why I didn't guess? Yeah, of course. You know, when you talk, you know, actually I noticed when you said, you know, it's like you have a beautiful voice as well. So a good, I think it's a good package. So you have beauty and beautiful voice. So of course, I think <laughs> good reason. So to be famous. Wow. And uh, how about you? How about you? Are uh, you? You uh, look like a uh, actress. Yeah. You. <laughs> Very active. Mm. Yeah. Then of course. Yeah, of then course. Then. Yeah, of yes. course. Yeah. yeah, I used to be uh we can say yeah, one of uh one of the actually energetic students at school. So not famous, but you know, maybe I was a person who maybe people wanted to be friend of. So maybe, yeah. Because I normally, you know, I used to be, and of course, like now, just, you know, like always, I normally laugh and, you know, try to be positive, optimistic. So, you know, people, I remember that my classmate wanted to be friend with me, so, and make friendship. So, but famous, no, despite having good voice, yeah, I could sing, but I don't know, I, I was a bit shy. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't, but... Uh, being famous, no, I don't think so. But you know, and I've never thought about it. So maybe, yeah, when we, I was maybe a child, I used to think about being famous. I don't know, it was like a dream that it, maybe in the future because uh, I don't know, I used to watch some film series, you know, and wanted to be, I know, same as like, for example, the actress. And special when actually it comes to beauty, children want to be beautiful in the future. So, but you know, being after that, actually, I changed my mind. But you know, mm -hmm. ah, but I am now I'm 
famous now <laughs> because yeah, famous new, but I can say yeah. For example, I have a fame for actually my career. Uh, so my career is yeah, what because you know I think that maybe most of not most of you know lots of people know me because of my career. So, but not famous. Still not. <laughs> Let's talk about maybe negative and positive aspects of being famous. So I want to know that, you know, what do you think about being famous? When people are famous, they have fame for something, what can they own and what they lose? They can, uh, if uh, they are face marked, they can, um, they have uh, many opportunities in their career. Uh, they get a lot of money. Uh, they have a good, many good relationship. Yes, yeah, and um, yeah. Um, Think the problem is with privacy so you know of course you don't have any personal life when you're famous so of course i think the first problem of course it is most of people like to be because you know everyone knows you may be but i think i don't know it's some negative aspect that i myself don't like I want to say something before we keep going with this topic because you talked about actually your talent so of course you have a talent special talent for singing so you can have to say of course the first and the most common i have talent or i'm talented in singing or i have talent for singing but you can also say let me write okay the first one when you want to say that you have a special talent you can say i have a flair for so to have flair for something it can be a noun or a verb but if you use verb it should be gerund or ing so for example i have a flair for singing for singing i have a flair for cooking so it means you have a special talent so So you have a flair for singing. And tell me, you, you don't uh, sing anymore? After university, I uh, didn't sing anymore. Uh, and, and my voice is early now. Uh, terrible. Yeah, no, of because I, I, don't, I don't practice. So it's... Uh, worse and worse after oh. time after time yes but singing is really good especially if you can so why not yes. do it again it's really good i will think again. about it I, I can i will think about uh, practicing again of course yes i think you can be very good you can be very good at singing because you know it's really important you know appearance is important especially when singing so you have a good voice you have beauty so so i think it's really good keep going well so uh the first actually uh word that we used in this topic was fame and famous to be famous for something we are famous we can be famous for something you can also use well known so a renown so all them like for example if you are well known for something or for example renowned they're the same like famous okay so they are actually the the adjectives that you can use 
for famous, okay? But fame can be good or bad. So as do you remember that we discussed about actually uh, fa a famous person, you mentioned a woman who was in relationship with different people. Do you remember when talking about celebrities? So we talked about the woman. So a singer, I think, I don't know, or actress. I'm not sure about it. So uh, fame can be good or bad. Do you remember the negative word that we use when we want to say someone is famous but not a good fame? Do you remember? Mm. Uh, let's talk uh, about the celebrity. The, yeah, the, the singer, the woman, yes. Um, uh, everywhere, everywhere, or uh, anytime she will go uh, with, uh, uh, when she go, uh, where she go, and when she go, and who, uh, whom she go with. Every everyone knows yeah uh, yes um uh, so she she doesn't have uh, her uh, privacy mm. and uh, uh, it's uh, um and uh, he she she doesn't have a freedom yeah, uh, of course, like yeah, a personal life, life you say, yeah. yeah, freedom, yes, because of course they have freedom, but you know, it's something like they don't have personal life, you know, mm, so personal life. nothing, everything is public, so your life yeah. is public. OK, so there is no private personal life, so uh, I want to say that, of course, not about that person, but when someone is well known, as I told you before, for bad things, of course, maybe most of people can know you because of bad things. OK, so you can be notorious, notorious. That notorious. means infamous. Yeah, notorious. That means infamous, notorious, infamous, well known for bad things. For example, we have some criminals, you know, and, you know, we, mm. oh, of course, and everyone knows them. So, of course, for bad things, not for good things. So fame can be, you can have fame for good thing or bad things. Okay, so it depends. Fame, and, you know, most of people like fame. Okay. So, for example, we can say oh, another phrase that is good. For example, we can say she likes fame. She want to be famous. Yes. She likes to be famous. OK, and there is another phrase that you can use when someone craves fame. It means really want it. She craves fame means she really wants it. Mm. She craves fame. So because of this, she tries and she does everything to be famous. And sometimes fame can change people. So because when talking about fame, celebrities, you need to use noun. Fame can change people. If you if you are famous, maybe you change your behavior, your attitude toward people. So these two words. And now let's get started with book. OK, the first word. Limelight. What is the meaning of this? at the center of attention. So limelight means at the center of attention. So, for example, 
maybe an actor, an actress, who is in the limelight means who is at a center of attention. Okay, so everyone pays attention, mm -hmm. everyone knows, yeah. So actually, she, you know, public focus, you know, on this person. Okay, and some people uh, enjoy, you know, enjoy being in the limelight. Some people know. So some people enjoy being in the limelight. Okay. Wow. Okay, tell me who is in the limelight nowadays in your country? What is who is this person? That this picture? Ah, oh, she's beautiful. Who is this? Yes. Uh, she is an actress. Ah, beautiful. Yes, an actress, is she... a Vietnamese actress. Yeah. She is very young, very, very young. And, and uh, she has a, a sense of humor. Ah, yeah, she has a sense of humor. That's interesting. Well, so I think, and how is her attitude toward people? You know, some celebrities, I don't know, they don't care. They don't want to talk to people, especially fans. But some of them know, they're really loving, caring. You know, they're actually, they care about their fans. So I want to know how is actually her attitude towards her fans. Uh, she's, uh, I think she's very friendly with her friend. Yeah. And she has, uh, she caring and loving and show her expressions to her friends. Very showing love and affection yes, means so loving, of course. Yeah, of course. So loving and caring. So you can use, you know, there are some actually the purpose of uh, having this question here is to know some adjectives that we normally use to talk about talented people. For example, mm -hmm. normally a talented person is ambitious. She has or he has strong desire for success for being wealthy, for money, so for everything she wants, they want to be successful, they want to be rich, they want to be better than the other, so ambitious is the first adjective. They are uh, diligent, they're hardworking, so we can use another one. They are persistent, they keep going, they continue. And no matter what happens, what difficulties actually they face. So they can, of course, they are talented, as I told you. Normally, they are energetic, active, energetic, positive, caring, loving. So it's not bad. Let me write, okay? Uh, you can use these adjectives to talk about people, actually kind of people that can become famous. The first one, ambitious. The second one, diligence. That is hardworking. You know, we have a really advanced synonym for this. And normally we use it for IELTS, that is industrious. Industrious means hardworking. So when a person is industrious means uh, they hard working or they are persistent. That is means consistent. Both of them are synonyms. They are energetic, positive. And it's important to sh actually to be. And as I told you, caring or loving. First one, the most important, talented or skillful. So you 
adjectives that you can use when talking about people who can be maybe famous. Okay, this one, reputation, fame. Reputation. The synonym here, of course, means fame. Okay, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. for example, your reputation is the general belief or opinion that all the people have about you. So it's your fame. Okay, and it's really good if you have a good reputation, a good fame. So it can be because good or bad. So people's opinion and belief about you. General belief and opinion. People's opinion and belief about you is your reputation. It's going to be Okay, so nobody can deny uh, Tom Hanks' reputation as an excellent actor, of course. He's the best. I love mm -hmm. him. Yeah, handsome, charismatic, good actor. So, reputation or fame, both of them you can use. Ah, and Anonymous. So what is the meaning of anonymous? When no one knows you. OK. Hot girl was just an anonymous girl until she had been captured in an adorable moment in the market. So anonymous without actually something like not named or identified. No one knows you. So not named or unnamed or identified. OK, so. Anonymous. Not, yeah, it's not named or identified. So no one knows you. So it's the opposite for fame, being famous. For example, especially nowadays, yeah, you see someone actually anonymous person too. No one knows them and they share a post on social media like Instagram. Then in one day, most of people actually start following this people, this person and you know, and they become famous. So. I think I don't know what's we have. We are living in a weird, really strange, unusual world. OK, so anonymous. And do you know anyone? Do you have maybe a sample, an example? Mm. There's uh, some of people in Vietnam. Uh, they anonymous. 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 Yeah. Anonymous. Anonymous. Yeah. Anonymous. Um, yes. Um, because of the social media, um, so someone in Vietnam, uh, they were anonymous. Anonymous. Until anonymous until they appear in the TikTok. Ah, oh, of course, TikTok. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. As I told you, social media. Yeah, they share some videos on YouTube, TikTok, and after that, just in one yeah. night, most one of night. people around them. Yeah. yeah, of course. You know, it's really <laughs> weird. Yeah. Because, you know, people in the past, people needed to try, put lots of effort to be famous. 
for example, for a long period of time, an actor, an actress, they actually put lots of effort to be famous. Now, just one night, they share something and, you know, the negative point is that it's ridiculous. There is no content here. You know, just, you know, they share something, I don't know, ridiculous dance or music or speech, a part of a speech, and tomorrow, they open their eyes and they are famous. And so everyone <laughs> knows. I don't know. I don't like it. Well, obsessed with. Many obsessed young people with. are so obsessed with. Yeah, as I told you, they crave fame. Obsessed with, they crave. It means they are too interested in fame, really interested in. So unable to stop thinking about it. So too interested so that they are unable to stop thinking about it. That is the synonym of being crave fame. OK, so crave fame. I'm sorry. So, so to crave fame. Being obsessed to crave fame. Uh, many young people are so obsessed with fame that yeah. they would do anything in order to get famous. Yeah. Uh, mm, obsessed you, with yeah. You can be obsessed with anything like money. Some people are obsessed with money. Yeah, really. They really won't. They're, yeah. So you yeah. can be obsessed with everything, not only with fame. So it means you are so interested. It's something like maybe extreme interest and unhealthy. Just let me obsession. Oh, just let me say something. Obsession is noun. Let me type it here. It's obsession now. with something means an unhealthy Extreme interest with, okay, so unhealthy extreme interest. Well, so you know, we need to maybe control our feeling about actually a subject or maybe of their, our obsession. So being obsessed with something so that we can't control. So how about your uh, kids tell me about, because you know, of course they are either teens, <laughs> so maybe they are interested in being famous or they think, so have they ever thought about being famous and have maybe have they thought about being famous with you? Um, they don't show, they want to famous want to be famous they don't show uh, but um my daughter uh, she now she great tells she you know uh, yeah. she has, she's talented uh -huh. i think yes uh, she can sing uh, she um uh, she she maybe she she now she's famous in uh, her school. Ah, of course. She mommy's girl, good voice. She can sing. Um, ah. she can design. She can design. She can draw well. Yeah. Oh, very good. So, I think she has talent for art. So she can yes, be an yes. artist, yeah, she's talent for art. Well, okay, what is, yeah, okay, variety, yeah, notoriety. So what is the meaning of this, of course? Actually, uh, it's a noun, the state of being famous for doing something, okay? It can be for a negative, 
something immoral or bad. OK, so for example, the public is unhappy about the notoriety of the mayor, for example. OK, so it's the meaning of it in a simple actually word fame or recognition for something negative. So. Fame or recognition for something negative. So if you want to talk about, so if you want to say someone is famous, is known for something positive, you use fame or renowned. I, I, I think I typed here. Ah, uh, here. Renown, fame or recognition. Recognition is also can be used for <laughs> positive. Yeah, recognition. And the adjective is recognized. For example, she is recognized. It means everyone knows. Well known, mm. renowned, okay, renowned or fame. They use for positive, but when we say notoriety, it means it's negative fame. Can you see? Yes. Look, the adjective is Notorious. This is noun Notorious. for this adjective. Yeah, of course, in fame. So this is noun, Notorious. and what I typed on board is the adjective. So when a person is notorious means this Notorious. person has bad fame. Okay. So people know them for bad things. So my manager yes, gained yes. notoriety for easily losing his temper in the meeting. So it means people know him because he can't control his feeling. OK, and we normally gain notoriety. So the verb gain, for example, she gained notoriety when I don't know, uh, nude photographs of her appeared in a magazine. OK, something like this. So she gained bad fame, notoriety. Yeah, of course. OK. Wow. And. Of course, some people enjoy. You know, they get some, I don't know, bad comments and you know, mm. but they enjoy. Yeah, really, they enjoy. We're, <laughs> yes. of course. Well, OK, now it's your time. So just think about these words and phrases that we just discussed and try to talk about something, maybe a person. It can be imaginary, not real, OK? And try to use them to make a whole. Hmm. It's difficult. <laughs> it's difficult to do so. You yeah. don't need to use. You don't need to use all them. Just you know something that you need, and you know you can use adjective, not exactly the same. For example, it's difficult to use the noun, so it's it's good to use adjective. Why not? Okay. You you are lamb line now. Oh, I am into uh, limelight. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> That's good. Limelight now. Uh, until you, uh, uh, you, you teach English. You, uh, uh, because uh, many people knows you. Many people know you. You have a lot of students in the world. In the world, yeah. And I think you're a mm. I, I No, yeah, of course, yeah. I can see that, yeah, of course. Maybe I have many students in different parts of work, but I am in the limelight. No, I'm not. 
Mm-hmm. And... <laughs> okay. Reputation. Uh, reputation. Mm. Teach us. Uh, teach us. Reputation is caring and loving the poor people, the poor. Uh, he shows, uh, he taught yeah. how to uh, love and help the poor. Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe, yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, anonymous. Yeah. Anonymous. 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 Yeah, anonymous. For example, an anonymous hacker, because you know, an anonymous mm -hmm. hacker hacked all the, uh, for example, bank systems. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all so the. Yes. Yes, I know. Uh, Mr. Hill, uh, there is a very young Vietnamese man uh, who who are in a, um, near my house. He was near my house. Um, he is anonymous oh. until he um, he he. Until he was a hacker in uh, yeah, and he he was very uh, uh, many um, he well known now uh, in Vietnam and uh, uh, in uh, the in America. Uh, of course, so he was anonymous. He, he was, was anonymous. anonymous until he had until hacked. He he had he hacked, hacked or he yeah. had become a hacker. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yes. past simple and That's after okay. past perfect. Yeah, had become yes. a hacker. Yeah. And now he everyone. was anonymous. He was anonymous until he had become a hacker. Of course. And now he worked for Vietnam. He worked for a an organizations of Vietnam uh, uh, to protect the um, the protect the safe uh, the internet. Uh, ah, uh, of course. Yes, have the government. Now he he have the government to ah. protect the uh, the network. Yeah, of course for network security. Yeah, yes, of yes. course. Security. To, yeah, to have, yeah security. network security, of course. Yeah. Very good. And number mm -hmm. four. Many teenager, many young people obs obsessed with fame. They uh, they try to do in many ways to get fame. Or to get famous, yes. Obsessed. To become famous, of course. To become they famous. are obsessed, of course. They crave fame so that they do everything to be famous. And the last one, notoriety. Notoriety. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my teacher, um, our, my son's teacher is uh, known as Monotoriety, uh, Martin Variety. My, my, my son's, my the teachers of my son is no is uh, notorious. Notorious, of course, of course. Notorious, it means a person a who is, is well known for bad things. So yes. now you notorious. can use the adjective, yeah. Notorious, notorious. of course. Because he uh, easily to lose his temper oh. in front of 
his students. Oh, so he gained, so someone who gained notoriety that is notorious because of something. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, that was really good. Okay. Well, household name. So what is this? A household name. A famous person or organization. So overnight, his name became a household. Okay, so it means everyone knows him mm -hmm. or his name. Absolutely. We're getting so familiar with household names in TV, okay, game shows such as Tran, Fan, and another one. I don't know these two guys. So it means mm -hmm. famous person or organization. So it can be a famous Okay, household names. For example, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, of course, yeah. So, for example, a person or thing whose name is very well known, a famous actor who has become a household name. Angelina Julie has become a household name because everyone knows her. Uh, my previous boss, my, yeah, my, my previous boss um, is a uh, household name in Vietnam. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, one of the fifth um, billionaire. Oh. Yeah, in Vietnam. One of, one fifth, one fifth. Yeah, one fifth. One, yeah, one. One fifth. One of the fifth. One of. Well, one of the the five uh, people. You mean because one percent. fifth is something? Yeah, one fifth is something different. Okay, so uh, one five. One of yeah. Uh, one of five millionaires in Vietnam. Okay, yeah, of course, because, you know, when you say uh, one fifth, just, you know, it means one part in five equal parts. Oh, so it's something yeah. like, yeah, fifth part. So it's different from one of, for example, the five most, I don't know, okay. billion or the most wealthy, okay, or wealthiest people in Vietnam. Yeah, one of the five, okay. Wow. One of the five. Okay, richest. wealthiest, wealthiest Wealthy. people, yeah. yeah, of course, the most, the richest, the wealthiest people in Vietnam. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, and now, it's, it's really easy. To have a positive or negative effect on, of course, for example, something being famous, fame, can have a negative effect on our life. So you can, it's really easy to use it to have a negative or positive effect, or you can say, you can say it negatively or positively affect. So you can change it when we say something has a negative or positive effect on something, Actually, you can also use another statement. You can say it negatively or positively affect. So you can use verb, okay? It negatively or positively affect. For example, something. Affect is verb here. Effect is noun. A fact is verb, so both of them are the same. For example, fame can positively affect our lives. It means fame can have some positive effects. So they are the same.
Yeah. OK, <laughs> well, and now let's use the structure. Mm. Being famous at a very age young, very young age is believed to have a negative effect on your mental development. Mm. Ah, uh, queen. The bad relationship between uh, parents uh, have a negative effect on their children. Of course, of course. Just, you know, pay attention to the use of have or has. If it's singular, so for example, a bad relationship between parents and their children can have or has. So if you want to use because you're singular, so just pay attention to the use of have or here we have have because is believed to have being famous has or can have a negative effect on your mental development. Of course, the relationship uh, of the parent. Yeah, but when can yes. Can have, can have a, um, can have the positive or negative effect on their children. Of course, of course, very good. Or can affect, can negatively affect children. Can negatively yeah. affect children. So you can say you can yeah. use it as an adverb. So negative yes. adjective, negatively adverb. Yeah, of course. And for example, doing yoga doing yoga can have a really positive effect on our mental health, for example. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, OK, well, and we have a listening section. Listen and complete the passage. So let me I think it's video. Just let me upload it. I think it's a video, so I need to. Upload it, OK. So I think this one. Yeah, it's MP4. Okay. Yeah, it takes a few seconds. about famous people and finding out about their lives. But I wouldn't want to be famous myself. I'm happy being a normal person doing a normal job. How do you feel about fame? Would you like to be famous? Oh, I would love to be famous. <laughs> Not particularly. I like to keep to myself. I'm a fairly private person. No, I wouldn't like to be famous. No, I don't think I'd like to be famous. I think I would, but not too famous. No. No. No, I wouldn't like to be famous. Um, I think that people are too obsessed with fame, too interested in fame these days. It's not something I actively look for, no. Um, I'm not sure about that. I would like like to be a bit famous, but I wouldn't like to be like really, really famous because you just don't have time on your own anymore. 
I'm not sure. I think it's very easy to get obsessed with the good things that fame can bring, like the free gifts and the doors opening for you and all that kind of side of things. When I was younger, I used to want to be an actor, and I uh, thought, well, yeah, being famous would be great. But, uh, but now, I'm not so bothered. What would you like to be famous for? I'd like to be famous for doing something new and exciting. Um, these days, I'd like to be famous for doing something worthwhile, I think. Uh, by the sort of charitable work. Maybe being a model. I'd like to be well known as a graphic designer, but that's not real fame. If I were to be famous, uh, I would like to be famous for an amazing invention, I think, or for perhaps a medical cure, something to cure cancer. I suppose directing films, if I was going to be famous for anything, that would probably be what I'd like to be famous for. I prefer to be anonymous. I like anonymity when I'm in the street. Which famous person would you most like to meet? I'd love to meet Barack Obama. At the moment, I'd probably like to meet the President of the United States, Barack Obama. Maybe Misha Barton, because she does loads of different things, and I think she's really pretty, and I like her style. Um, I'd like to meet Bob Dylan. I really like his music. Um, I don't know what I'd say to him, but I think I'd like to meet him. Famous person I would most like to meet, probably quite vacuous, it'd probably be Johnny Depp or somebody like that, because he's really good looking. I would like to meet Johnny Depp because I enjoy his movies a good deal. I think I'd like to meet uh, Reynold Fiennes, uh, just generally because of, uh, of what he's done, his sort of Arctic exploration and the fact that he's been able to go where other people haven't. I'd love to meet a famous explorer. If he was still alive, I would really like to meet Edmund Hillary. I would like to meet the Dalai Lama and Fidel Castro. Fidel Castro. That was really good. Okay, so just you need actually uh, the last part to add to fill in the blanks here. So maybe the first one, it's Misha Burton and why? Could you hear? Can I hear it later? And I, of course. I, I fill the blank ah. later. Of course, of course, of course. Maybe. <laughs> you will get used to a British accent. Of course we do, because it's BBC, so it's British accent, but it's okay. Well, okay, of course, so I will send this for again. I will send yes. and you can okay. fill in the blanks. Okay. Oh, oh, it's too long, so yes. Well, so let's talk. Okay, so let me, okay. Well, Okay, so let's talk about the reason that uh, can make a person famous. So, of course, good fame, I mean, okay. And tell me which one do you prefer? So, for example, it can be a talent in a specific field, okay, or maybe some bad fame, okay, like scandals, I don't know, shocking speech, or I don't know, sex tape, nude photos, or to be beautiful, handsome, super rich, or do dangerous activities. So which one can be, you think, the best reason to be famous? Uh, the reason can make the person famous. I think I, I, I prefer, uh, I prefer uh, the person who talented in um, in art. Ah, oh, of course, of course. Or science, I yeah. Science. Um, I, I think art, science, forms. Yeah, um, yeah, of course. Just uh, let me say something about the first one. Being talented in a specific field, for example, you can say that. Uh, because, mm -hmm. for example, someone is, I don't know, is famous, is celebrity, I don't know, in the, for example, field of something, art, or in the world. of again for example she is famous she's celebrity in the field or in the world of art so you can say 
this way. Okay, but nowadays some people are famous because they're beautiful. That's weird. Okay, well, and okay, if you were rich, the last question, if you were rich and famous, how would you spend your time and money? Invest in business or real estate, do charities, do whatever you want. So which one? Travel all around the world. Yes, if I were, uh, if I was rich and famous, I would prefer to do charity. 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 You would do. Yeah. I would you use, would, yeah. I, I would use my money and uh, for charity. Oh, of course, very good. Yeah, for helping people. Yeah, that's really good. So uh, just if I, you know, of course, we use was for I, the subject or subject pronoun, I, but here because of if. So when we have if, we would prefer to use were. If I were, if I were, no, if, rich, I, yeah. if I were rich and no. famous, I would spend, I would, and afterward, as you said, base for mobile, I would spend my money on charities or, for example, on helping people. Okay, well, and that's it. So, we discussed this topic in detail, and just after class, I will send you the video and mm -hmm. questions. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. It was really good time with you again. Have a great, fruitful, enjoyable day. Yes. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Ah, oh, um, good day. Good night. Okay. Good <laughs> Actually, <laughs> yeah, of course. Good night. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye.